What Really Happened to Humpty, from the Files of a Hard-Boiled Detective, by Joe Dumpty, as told to Jeannie Franz Ransom, illustrated by Stephen Axelson. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. Humpty Dumpty was pushed. At least I think so. Who am I? I am Joe Dumpty, Humpty's younger brother. You probably haven't heard of me. I never was mother's favorite. Mother Goose, that is. Ever since she became police chief, Goose, she thinks I'm just stirring up trouble with my detective business. Yes, Mother Goose always liked Humpty best. He's such a good egg. That's why I think it's a crime that he fell off the wall. After all, he'd been sitting up there for as long as I can remember with no problems whatsoever until that awful scrambled up day. It was a picture book perfect morning. The old woman who lives in a shoe had just dropped off her kids at the Jack and Jill daycare center. The three little pigs were putting the finishing touches on their latest house. And across the field, Humpty was sitting on the wall. I wish I'd stopped to crack a few jokes with my brother, but it was Humpty's first week as captain of the new neighborhood watch program, and I didn't want to distract him. Besides, it was almost nine and I had to get to work. I made a quick stop and ran into Little Red Riding Hood. The Muffin Man scrambling to fill a big order, Red said. I can't even buy one lousy muffin for my grandmother. She sniffed loudly and stomped off in a huff. With my espresso in hand, I headed to the office. If you want a muffin, you're out of luck. As I opened my office door, the phone rang. It was Little Miss Muffet. Joe? Something's happened to Humpty. I raced to the wall. Miss Muffet was there, cell phone in hand. I called 911, she sobbed. I looked at my brother. He wasn't making a sound. Whoever did this was gonna fry. I walked back around the wall, and that's when I saw it. Something shiny was tucked under Miss Muffet's tuffet. She was on the phone, so I didn't bother asking. If I could look under her tuffet, I just did. Sometimes detectives have to act first and ask questions later. It was a pair of binoculars. Not just any binoculars. These puppies were the official binoculars of the neighborhood watch program. Humpty had been showing them off ever since he'd become captain. Were you looking under my muffet? What are you doing with those? Muffy asked, grabbing the binoculars. I was just about to ask her the same thing. All the king's horses and all the king's men arrived. They couldn't put Humpty together again, so they scooped him up and rushed to the hospital. What's the story? I asked Muffy. I wanted some answers. Muffy sighed. <sighs> I was just shooting the breeze with Humpty, waiting for Spider. Humpty was letting me try his binoculars when suddenly this huffy puffy wind blew him right off the wall. Police Chief Goose pulled up in her big honking cruiser. I was at the three pigs, she apologized. The wind we had there this morning blew down their new house. I just told Joe that the wind made Humpty fall. I made Humpty fall, said a small voice out of nowhere. It's my fault, Spider said, dropping down from the tree. I was rushing to get down here by nine this morning, my usual time, when this puff of wind pushed me straight towards Humpty. I must have scared him because the next thing I knew, Humpty was on the ground. I zipped home, but I knew I had to fess up. Humpty was my friend. I almost wet my web. My brother wasn't afraid of anything. That's why he was the perfect neighborhood watch captain. What happened to Humpty wasn't your fault, Spider, I said. Remember the giant? Keep off the grass. Sorry. It wasn't anybody's fault, Muffy chimed in. It was an accident. Agreed, Chief Goose said. Go to the hospital, Joe, she told me. I'll write up an accident report. Accident report. 
there's no case to crack. But Chief Humpty been sitting on that wall for years without a wobble, I said. Then the first week he's the neighborhood watch captain, he suddenly falls off. The same day the pig's house blows down? Coincidence? I don't think so. Chief Goose sighed. Okay, Joe, since Humpty's your brother, I'll give you till five o'clock to play detective. If you don't have anything by then, I'm writing the accident report. I didn't have much time. I hurried to the hospital. Thanks to the miracles of modern technology, combined with some nifty techniques the doctors discovered when Jack fell down the, and broke his crown, Humpty was on the mend. But he didn't remember a thing. I needed to hit the streets and question a few characters myself. I'm shell-shocked. My first stop was the Bears. I rang the doorbell three times and was about to give up when the door opened to reveal a barefoot. I was expecting a bear foot. I showed the blonde my badge and asked about the bear's whereabouts. I'm house-sitting, she said, yawning. Late night, I asked. Early morning. Some dog started howling and woke me up. How early? I probed. 9 a.m., she said. But now that I'm awake, want to come in for some porridge? Sorry, I'm on a low-carb diet. I hated to tell her no, but I was on the clock, and the clock was ticking. Next house I visited belonged to the only dog owner in the neighborhood, Old Mother Hubbard. Maybe her pup had been howling this morning. But Miss H said, I gave my dog to the farmer in the dell last week. He needed help with his sheep, and unlike mine, his cupboard is never bare. Miss H shook her head sadly when I told her about Humpty. I never would have done anything to Humpty, not even to feed my poor dog. Maybe you should talk to my neighbor, Miss H added. She seemed to be in a big hurry this morning. She's a crazy chicken. Chicken Little answered the door, looking more nervous than usual. A am I in tr 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 trouble? I played it cool. You tell me. I said, keeping a close eye on her in case she tried to fly the coop. If it's about what happened this morning, it's not my fault, Chicken Little said. You know what happened this morning? Of course I know, she shouted. The sky fell, and I didn't warn anybody. I've learned to keep my beak shut. The sky is falling. The sky is falling. Peep. The sky didn't fall this morning, I said. Humpty did. From her surprised look, I knew she was innocent. He's going to be okay, I said. I love that egg like he's one of my own, Chicken Little sniffled. I handed the tender chicken a tissue. So tell me where you were around nine, I said. I was on my morning power walk, she answered. I just passed Muffy and Humpty when the wind howled overhead. I just walked behind the wall and the next thing I knew, the sky... I mean, Humpty was falling. I ran straight home. Was Humpty sitting on the wall when you saw him? Yes, but Muffy wasn't sitting on her tuffet. Chicken Little paused. That's funny. She's usually digging into her curds and whey. Funny indeed. As I left my friend clucking to herself and scanning the sky, I heard a commotion coming from the pig's house. What was left of it anyway? Huff, puff, huff, puff. I need more exercise, I thought as I raced across the field. How many times had I heard people say that today? Not the more exercise part, the huff, puff part, as in a huffy, puffy wind. I found the pigs fighting over all things a cell phone. I thought everyone had one these days. Apparently not. Okay, guys, hand it over, I said. Whose phone is this? Give me it. It's mine. I had it first. We don't know, said the pigs. We found it in the morning after our house blew down. Can we keep it? It has some cool games on it. Oh... Just then the phone rang. Actually, it howled. Who would have a howl for a ringtone? 
I took a guess and disguised my voice. Yo, I growled. I got the binoculars, the voice on the phone said. Now I want my yummy, wummy muffins. We had a deal, remember? Be at the wall in five minutes. In five minutes, it would be five o'clock. Yikes! I called Chief Goose and told her to meet me at the wall. The clues were adding up. The muffins that no one else could buy, the howling that didn't come from a dog, the huffy puffy wind, not to mention the binoculars that someone wanted. Bad. But why? I had a hunch. Muffy was at the wall, binoculars in hand. She didn't look too happy to see me. Expecting someone else, I asked. Someone big and bad, perhaps? She's expecting me, howled the big bad wolf as he jumped out and grabbed the binocular. I'll take those. Where are my muffins, screamed Muffy. I'm sick of curds and whey. Sorry, doll, plans changed, growled Woof. You pushed Humpty off the wall, I said. I'm telling Chief Goose. I wasn't at the wall this morning, Woof said. I'm telling. But you were at the pig's house, I said, showing Woof his phone. When you blew down their house, you got Humpty too. Guess you wanted a scrambled egg with your bacon. Woof just wanted the binoculars, Muffy cried. He promised me some yummy, yummy, wummy muffins if I'd get them from Humpty. No one was supposed to get hurt. Hmm, muffins. And nobody else will if you give me my phone, Joe, and get out of my way, Woof snarled. My, what big teeth he has, I thought. Where was Chief Goose? Hold it, shrieked Spider. Not so fast. Talk about wrapping up a case. What's going on here? Chief Goose had arrived. It seemed the howling wind this morning was actually Woof blowing down the pig's new house and Humpty along with it, I told the chief. That's my theory anyway. What about Muffy? Chief asked. Actually, it's a conspiracy theory, I said. Woof promised our little Miss Muffins in exchange for Humpty's binoculars. Without the binoculars, Humpty couldn't see Woof blow down the pig's house. Looks like you have everything tied up. Apparently, Woof also threatened to blow down the Muffin Man's shop unless he got free muffins, Chief Goose said. The guy's been hiding in a sack of sugar all day. Sweet snarled Woof. Muffy glared at him. I wouldn't have helped you if I'd known the truth. Humpty was my friend. Now he'll probably never speak to me again. You can always call him from your cell to apologize, I told her. Your jail cell, that is. So why'd you do it, Woof? I asked. I'm bad, he said, shrugging his shoulders. It's my middle name. I have to hand it to you, Joe, Chief Goose said. You were right. What happened to Humpty really was a crime. You weren't afraid to trust your gut and get to the bottom of this. I'm proud of you, Joe. I'm sorry, Joe. I have to admit, I was proud of me, too, and of my brave friend Spider. In fact, Spider is the neighborhood watch captain while Humpty's healing. As for me... I've had plenty of cases to solve. Dozens of them, in fact. Word on the street is the dish ran away with a spoon. And then there's my friend Bo. Bo Peep, that is. The dame keeps me in business. Now, if I were a sheep, where would I go?